So continuing from the previous video, we looked at um, the the place where the SQL database uh, seems to be stored. Okay, it's in it's in it's in the home library group containers and something with Shazam. So let's just explore that. So first, let's go to C slash library slash group containers, and here we will search for something which has Shazam. So CD Shazam. There you go. I like this feature. Let's so search really convenient. And within Shazam, it's again in a folder called Shazam. So let's just run that again. Grab Shazam, and there you go. CD Shazam. Okay, and here after this, you have the SQLite database over here. So this is cool so far. So now to view the database, let's use a utility. Um, let's use a utility called um, called um, SQLite. SQLite Browser .org. So if you go to SQLite Browser .org, you have uh, apps for various platforms. I have already the, the Mac version installed on my system so let me just open that up okay and um, here I have SQLite DB browser for SQLite open let me open the database so it will ask you for the path um, and the path is here let me let me open this in um, in uh, Pathfinder and uh, I will go to SQLite and drag and drop it here and it picks it up and there you go so you can see it's, it's it's amazing the the Shazam database is or rather the Shazam app is is uh, storing everything in this SQLite database and the Shazam scrubler app pulled out the information and then it's linked up linked it up to my last of them account and posted it there which is uh, which is thereafter quite straightforward so now let's look at the place where the data is getting stored and the easiest way is to browse the data. So here you go, it's, it's here. So here, let's just look at the data here. Nothing here, uh, rather something there, but not what we're looking for. You've got this one, you've got this one, and here you've got the artists. So you have the artists here, but we just don't need the artists, we need the songs too. So let's look at the, um, something with track. Um, mm -hmm. There you go. Actually, this database looks long enough to be having the information that we need. So here you go. You have the track name, which is what we need. See that? You have the same tracks which are here. Okay, so you've got We Will, we will Rock You and here you have We Will Rock You. And apart from that, I'm not sure if we have the author name here or rather the artist name here. Mm. We don't have the artist name here, but my guess is that the artist is is uh, is linked in some manner to this table. And uh, okay, so you've got a primary key here, and uh, you have primary key here, right? And uh, and if I go to that particular database, um, what is that? Yep, this database. Is, is, this is a table sorry and here you should have a equivalent foreign key I'm guessing so here you got the data uh, the time of playing and um, let us just look at it quickly otherwise uh, you know you can figure it out Right. Okay. Um, never mind. So we we we've got the tracks here, and um, the tracks are getting the tracks are getting stored um, in the database. So so that's basically it's all we want, um, and. Uh, and that, that that's what we need. I can figure out figure out later, but probably post it in the blog post. And so now you can access this SQLite SQLite database using any database driver. You can do everything 
funky with it and I will try to post this to my online blog or to Twitter and uh, I have a live streaming of all the, all the music that I play a record of it and I can I can improve upon this to act, to do some rating stuff and you know AI and stuff of that kind all right hope, hope that is useful and enjoy <laughs>